Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks, part two of this series. I uh, I stated in the first video, um, if you can see, his circles have a little bit of a bump out. And I was going to show him how to maybe make it better. And I've made it, but I actually made it a little small. But I went ahead and played. I also said I would embellish it. And I, I got this pattern, which is either beautiful or god awful ugly and i just as long as you keep the four inches or the two inches fine so we're going to just make one of these first and we are going to have to start in the center of the page and let's just delete that so i'm going to start off with a two inch circle and then i'm going to my nudge factor, I'm going to set on five. And I, I emailed the person and he told me how he did it. That doesn't look this very far apart. but So I made four circles. But I want them, I'm going to control G, I want them in the center of the page. So I'm going to hit P. Now with them, select, and he, what he did, he told me he drew a rectangle from there to there and then rotated around. And that's, quite possibly where he got a little bump out. So if I was going to do this, I would select all these, hold down my shift key and double click my rectangle tool. That rectangle is right on the edge of the item. So I can take this and move it away. Now, before I go any further, I am going to take a one inch circle. That might be too big. Let's make it um, 0.75. Now I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and put it there. And have I'm just having them snap to the center of my circle. That way I don't have to smart fill them in and make a new object. Now I'm going to grab those two and I'm going to nudge them over. And see, I'm not selecting the everything because I went through there. Now we need to make another rectangle that's going to make our rectangle. So we're just going to try that, not big enough. Hold down your shift key, get the two-sided cross, hold down your shift key, and now get whatever size you want this to be. Don't worry about the inside. Now this will not probably weld, so we're going to do this right here. We're just making this, um, if we welded it, it just wouldn't work. I'm just making a recess. But see, this way my lines are right on that edge. Now I'm going to take these two four dots and put them back. That looks a little better. Still, maybe now I'm a little bit thick. So I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool. And the reason I did that, it made one object. And as you can see, this has, I've lost, I'm using somebody else's program and it's, it's not working down there. But see, as you can see, we have many, many objects here. So by Smart Filling, you have this. Now I'm going to rotate it. 45 degrees. Now we do have to use a smart fill now to fill in these holes because in, in the first part we showed that there's nothing there to center. So if we use the smart fill tool and then use the parallel dimension tool, and we're at 7.07. 7. And I just started thinking about it. I bet you there's a math guru that's going to watch this is going to tell me what size I could make this so when I rotate it this is two inches apart I might even be able to figure that out so before we do anything I'm going to take the parallel dimension tool and before I do anything else I'm going to change it to another decimal place so we're at 707 so I'm going to select everything and I'm going to make it my ratio's locked. I'm going to make it 40% of my size. We're at 284. Now I'm going to make it 90% of that. 254. I'm going to make it 90% of that. 90% of that. This seems like a lot of work, but it's not. 95% of that. Well, okay, we're close. Now let's go... Uh, 101. We're trying to get to 200. 
or two, two inches. Um, 101 again. 102. Um, well, we're getting close. So all I'm doing, the ratio's locked. We're getting real close. I should have started out with five. 99.4. Um, sorry about this. I Okay, that's really close. But we can make it a little closer. So let's go 99.9. .9. Look at that. We're close enough. You could get it probably right on the money. I'm going to get rid of my dots. Now, and see, now I have a really good side. There's no bump there. Now, I said I would embellish this. And I embellished this too much on my first one. It looks pretty cool. But as long as you don't change the um, two-inch hole placement, you can do anything you want to this with this. And... You know, let's just let's see if we can embellish this a little bit without doing too much. I'm just going to use the twirl tool again because I actually kind of got, you know what, I'm going to make it one inch because I do not want to get near those holes. And we've got to click on it. You know what? I'm going to call that kind of good. Now I'm going to go the opposite direction on this one. You've got to select it. You know what? Let's call that good. I kind of like it. Now, go to object, object to path. Select your object. Shift, select your path. This circle, 74 inches. We need, um, well, I was thinking we only needed, you know what? That would be, oh, it's 74. Okay. Because whenever Corel says you need a copy, you need one less. Cross your fingers and let's see what this is going to look like. Our circles are within tolerance. Uh, you could, I could have embellished a lot more. Matter of fact, let's do that. It's too much fun. Let's, uh, let's use another tool now. As long as we don't mess with these holes. Let's use the attract and repel. Nope, I did terrible on that. Um, I'm not, uh, you know what? Let's just go back to the twirl tool and maybe just twirl the top a little bit. That is, not very good, Doug. Um, let's see what, oh, you know what? We could just do the common sense stuff and take the shape tool and just grab these nodes and just move them up. See, we're not moving the, that still looks terrible, but you get the idea. We did not move the center of these two dots. So now shift select, we've got that selected, shift select your path. Okay, I shift select your path and hit apply. And I always go, keep your fingers crossed. Now what it did, it put them at the bottom and I must have moved it. So let's back up here. Uh, because whenever you're doing text to path or this to object to path, this is actually the gonna be on the bottom. The top's gonna be on the bottom. Um, you know what, let's just, um, you know what, I don't want to move, I'm going to move the bottom. Let's add a node right there. Let's delete that node. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make anything specific. I'm just showing you what it could be done. Tell you what, let's grab that node and bring it down a little bit. That's pretty ugly, but 
We'll see what it looks like. Shift selector, shift select with both of them selected and hit apply. Now that will be on the top now. And remember to do this, it's gotta be in the center. That's not terrible. But somehow her, her numbers are off, so stay with me here for a second. I'm pretty sure we didn't change those numbers by doing what we did. So we're going to have to get the smart fill tool and then get our virtual. Our, oh, you know, okay. Never mind. What's happening is that when we do this, this is no longer in the center. This is not the center anymore. So let's try this. Let's make a duplicate of that and mirror it and then put these holes like that. And now let's try welding and see what happens. Yeah, not terrible. See, that way everything will be in the center. So I'm going to use, even though it's weld, that I always use a smart fill tool, but I think it's going to work. The weld tool did it. <clears throat> now cross your fingers. Almost, I'm glad when I make mistakes. We're well, not really a mistake, just because uh, it helps you kind of figure things out. Now I think we're probably perfect. Well, let's get rid of our path. That's one thing I love about tech, uh, object to path. Um, you can get rid of that in the blend. You have to break the blend apart. Now let's weld it, see what happens. Now let's smart fill it. Might be pretty cool. That is, at least you got to say it's different. And you could do anything with this, as long as those dots are in the center. Anyway, a little fun project. Hope that it helped him and somebody in the future, and thank you for watching.